so uh, hello everyone and in this video i'll be talking about the tryptophan operon so tryptophan operon is an example of negative repressible operon so what does the term negative repressible mean here we are referring to it's telling us about two important aspects of the tryptophan operon the first negative is talking about the regulatory protein and this regulatory protein because it's negative it's a repressive so which means that when this regulatory protein binds to the operator site that operon is shut down. The second, it's talking about repression, which means that the tryptophan operon is normally on and it has to be repressed. Okay, so this is an example of a negative repressible operon. So, as we know, operon consists of structural genes along with the regulatory regions over here. So, there are five structural genes in the tryptophan operon E, D, C, B, A. Which, has, which is controlled by an operator region over here and the promoter. There's another weak promoter over here at the distal end downstream of trip D. This is P2. So this P2 is responsible for enhanced synthesis of trip C, B and A. There are two transcription termination sites downstream of trip A. So you have T1 and T prime. Okay. So these are the uh, elements of this operon. There's another region which is of importance for the tryptophan operon is this region L. This region L is called the leader sequence. This leader L is normally not present in the in those operons which are uh, which are catabolic. Okay, these are present in those operons which are anabolic. Now, so what happens? How is it regulated? So. It's regulated by another gene which is called as trip R. Trip R codes for a repressor. So normally what happens when the levels of tryptophan is low or when the cell is needs a tryptophan, the trip operon is on and the different genes are synthesized and the corrosmic acid is converted into tryptophan. Now when the levels of tryptophan uh, is sufficient in the cell, and then when the cell doesn't need more tryptophan, so unnecessarily it will not synthesize tryptophan. So the trip operon is now shut down. So it's shut down when the repressor protein binds to this operator region. But normally the repressor that is formed, this is in an inactive form. Okay. So this repressor as such, it cannot bind to the operator region. To make it active, this tryptophan, it acts as co-repressor. Okay, so this repressor plus the co-repressor changes the conformation of the repressor. Now this repressor can now bind to the operator site and once it is bound with the operator site, the polymerase cannot sit over here and so the transcription is off. So this regulation depends upon the level of tryptophan in the cell. So tryptophan regulates whether the trip operon will be on or it will be off by binding to the repressor. So the threshold levels of tryptophan is important. However, it was observed that when, even when the repressor pro, uh, regulatory gene repressor was mutated and the repressors were not formed, still if there were sufficient levels of tryptophan in the medium, then the trip operon was off, which led to the hypothesis that probably there's another uh, level of regulation and then it was found that yes there is another level of regulation and this is called as attenuation okay this is called as attenuation and attenuation is a row independent termination what it means is that the row uh, normally the bacterial in bacterial systems there's a row protein which leads to the termination of transcription. However, there is a second level of regulation which is called as row independent. And this row independent regulation depends upon the leader region. Now, how does this leader region uh, decide when the transcription should be shut off or when it should be shut, it should be on. So this depends upon, so when this region of uh, region L was analyzed, it was found that the when the sequencing of this L uh, region was done, it was observed 
that there are four it can be divided into four different regions over here to one two three and four now the interesting part about these different regions is that one can pair with two which means one and two sequences are complementary they can pair and form a stem loop structure two and three are complementary so therefore two and three can also pair with each other and three and four are complementary so three can also pair with four okay however all these stem loop structures they are not formed at the same time when one pairs with two okay so when you have a condition when one pairs with two two cannot pair with three so therefore now three is free to pair with four okay so you have it like this three and four however under conditions when one cannot pair with two so you have two which is free to pair with three and four is now unpaired so these are the two situations in the first one and two form a pair and three and four form a pair in the second one cannot pair with two so therefore two pairs with three and therefore four is also not paired with three right now what are the different conditions that lead to these different kinds of pairings this depends upon the level of tryptophan in the cell. However, it depends upon the level of charged uh, tRNA carrying tryptophan. So you have tRNAs which carry tryptophan. So this decides whether what kind of pairing will form. Okay. Now this the total length of this leader sequence was found to be around 162 nucleotide base pair. Right. Now how does uh, what causes these different pairings now one thing over here you should understand is in prokaryotic system the transcription and tra translation they are coupled together so as transcription is going on translation follows after it immediately because there is no nucleus so there is no delinking between the transcription and the translation so as soon as transcription is going on the translation also takes place and it's because of this particular uh, uh, fact that the attenuation is possible now what happens for this just understand this uh, this region when they were analyzed it was found that the the region one has can code for a 14 amino acid polypeptide a small polypeptide of 14 amino acid and there are two codons over here which code for tryptophan okay so there are two codons which code for tryptophan in this leader region now what happens let's see how does this take place consider a condition first condition is when tryptophan is present in the medium okay or the levels of tryptophan is high so when the levels of tryptophan is high the transcription is initiated the polymerase it starts transcribing this region so region 1 is now being transcribed now as this region 1 is being transcribed after some time the ribosome now sits and it starts translating so the ribosome sits and it starts translating so as the transcription is going on with the polymerase uh, transcribing the ribosome is also it starts translating so you have the polypeptide also being formed okay now if there are as i told you there are two tryptophan codons over here now when this ribosome it reaches this point over here when the ribosome reaches over here because in the system the tryptophan is more so therefore tRNA having tryptophan this level is also high so as a result the ribosome immediately gets a tryptophan and it moves forward now when this ribosome is moving forward at the same time the region 2 is being transcribed, region 3 is being transcribed, and region 4 is being transcribed. Now, when the ribosome 
moves forward and it's occupied it's occupying region 1 under this condition region 2 cannot pair with region 1 because it's already occupied with the ribosome and so this goes on now but as soon as the ribosome moves forward region 1 is ready now to pair with region 2 because the polymerase is now over here so region 2 cannot pair with 3 now as the polymerase still moves forward the ribosome also moves forward and the region 3 is now ready to pair with region 4 okay now the sequences the nucleotides at the leader sequences is such that after region 4 when the transcription takes place it results in a string of u being formed okay now this kind of uh, arrangement where a stem loop structure is followed by a string of fuse this is called as an attenuator okay and this uh, this secondary structure of rna it destabilizes the polymerase rna polymerase and rna polymerase falls off so as a result transcription is shut down or trans transcription is terminated okay so the transcription is terminated and uh, so this is a way by which the transcription though it has initiated because we know that always a basal level of transcription takes place so when the transcription is initiated but because the levels of charged tryptophan is high in the medium, the ribosome cannot, uh, it doesn't wait, it continues. So when the ribosome is following the polymerase, so polymerase, so therefore, you have 1 and 2 pairing and 3 and 4 pairing. And this results in this kind of a situation where 3 and 4 is followed by string of use, which is an attenuator. It destabilizes the polymerase. So transcription is terminated. So this is the second level of uh, regulation in which in spite of repressor being present the system uh, the system evolved in such a manner that even slightest amount of excess of tryptophan is not formed. Now what is the second time? The second is let's consider a condition again the same situation when the levels of tryptophan in the medium is low. Okay tryptophan is low in the medium so when the levels of tryptophan is low in the medium so when so the polymerase it transcribes when it transcribes this region 1 the ribosome settles down on the mrna and it starts translating however when this ribosome reaches the point where there are two codons for tryptophan so when here what happens now when the ribosome reaches this codon over here which codes for tryptophan it waits for the charged tryptophan to come now because the levels of tryptophan is low so therefore the trna which is charged with tryptophan will be low so as a result now this ribosome will stall or it will wait over here for waiting for the charged tryptophan now when this ribosome is waiting over here the polymerase though continues okay the polymerase continues to transcribe region 2 region 3 and then region 4 now because the ribosome is sitting in this region 1 over here okay one cannot pair with 2 so therefore now 2 is free to pair with 3 so you have a situation like this in which the ribosome is waiting for a charged RNA carrying tryptophan so region 2 can now pair with region 3 region 4 is over here followed by this string of fields now this u though it is formed but it's quite far off from this stem loop structure so therefore this doesn't act as an attenuator so as a result now the synthesis uh, the uh, polymerase okay is not destabilized or is stabilized and this continues to transcribe so these are the two levels of regulation 
or the tryptophan operon and this depends upon the leader region over here okay so uh, uh, so uh, the the regulatory protein represses the tryptophan operon to 70 times and an additional 10 times is because of the leader sequence so the total uh, down down regulation of the tryptophan operon when not needed is around 700 fold thus a cell uh, ensures that it doesn't expend any energy when it is not needed so this is about the negative repressible operon which is a, which is an example that we have studied is the tryptophan operon